Hi everybody, this is Wendy at The Broken Needle and today is part five of our series on quilting with rulers. Today I'm gonna to play with the clamshell. When you subscribe to our channel, don't forget to hit the bell so that you can be reminded of all future videos. Once we get over to the machine, I will be lining up this line with this mark and the center line with the center mark. Just like so. In case you've been wondering, I'm using the Janome MemoryCraft 15000. Setting up for ruler work is easy with the MemoryCraft 15000. Hit the ruler work button and we're off. After pulling up the bobbin thread, I begin to sew, making sure to hold pressure up against the ruler foot and keeping my template aligned with the marks that I made earlier. I'm going to stop in the center and make sure my template is aligned and begin to sew again. Going up around the curve and stopping on the other side. With the first row complete, I'm going to travel up and align this mark on the template with the marks that I made earlier, making sure to align the center with the center mark on the template. In this particular project, my travel lines will be hidden in the seam. When using the template, you can sew horizontally or vertically, whichever is more comfortable to you. Another important note that when you are quilting clamshells, each stitch that you make pulls your fabric in just a bit. After each row, make sure to check your alignment. You may need to make some adjustments. It's best to do any adjusting when you're at the top of the curve. You may need to add a stitch or backtrack to align your template. Move the template up and continue to sew. Making sure you're aligned. Ta-da! Clamshells complete!